Welcome back everyone to Backcountry Life. I am Sam Olam and today we're going to be talking about tubeless versus normal heavy duty tubes. The reason you're here is you're thinking about if you should invest in tubeless or should you invest in a heavy or an ultra duty tube. So I'm here to give you the pros and cons of each and then also tell you what system I'm currently using and why. So let's start with the pros of a heavy duty tube. So the pros would be that they're inexpensive. You're probably already used to changing tires with tubes so you kind of know what it takes there and it's not super complicated. So to me, those are the pros. Oh, and these are much better than your standard OEM tubes. So much thicker, so less pinch flats. All right, so the cons of these heavy duty tubes. The cons would be that they don't eliminate pinch flats. You still can get pinch flats. And they also can get any, if you get a you know, sticker or a rock that rips into the sidewall, you're out of luck, flat. And I think the downside is you have to carry a little bit more tools. So you have to carry more spoons, uh, you know, tire spoons to get the tire off when you need to fix a flat, plus a patch kit, or if you even pack an ultra heavy duty tube, and if you've, they're actually pretty heavy. So those are the pros and cons. It's cheaper uh, than tubeless and you know, a little bit more or less complicated. So, tubeless. So, tubeless, if you don't know what that is, is basically a little system that was developed by Jeff from Newtech that allows you to have a inner bladder, inner tube, and a red liner, we'll show a picture of this, that basically you can fill up and it seals the bead on the tire, creating a tubeless system on your tire. So pros of tubeless. So the pros of tubeless is that it basically is a system to, that want, if you ever get a flat, you can ride back to the truck because your inner bladder will hold the tire on the bead. And I've personally done this. I've ridden with the front and rear tire at different times, not the same time, where they've been flat. Once on the front where it was like 15 miles of mountain single track back to the truck, you gotta go a little bit slower, but I uh, didn't dent the rim and it held the bead all the way out. It's also super fast to fix, you know, where you just put it in five minutes, you can put a ATV or UTV plug, like you would plug a standard tubeless tire and then you're on your way. Whereas the heavy duty tubes, it's gonna take a little bit longer. Um, the other thing I think is actually the real reason why tubeless, in my opinion, is better than uh, ultra heavy duty tube or heavy duty tube is that you can run the air pressure, the PSI, at any pressure that you want. So obviously lower the pressure means more surface area of the tire on the, uh, the ground and you get better traction. And also even in the front with a little bit lower pressure, you feel a little bit you know, less impact and a softer feel and no bouncing or jarring around that sometimes these heavy duty tubes at a higher air pressure can, can uh, make it f the front end feel. Um, I personally run tubeless uh, in this system and it's at five PSI and around five to seven PSI. So that's, it's my favorite. Um, I've skipped over the cons, but the cons, some of the cons are, it's way more expensive and it's a little bit more complicated. And when I say a little bit, when, the, when you first install it, in the first few times, you feel a little bit more nervous about it. But now, honestly, I think it's super easy. In fact, I think it's easier than changing uh, tires with the standard tube because you know, the only thing you have to worry about is grabbing the, the red liner. You don't have to worry about pinching anything or anything and you just take the tire off and then boom, put the tire back on. And when you're putting the tire back on, you don't have to worry about pinching the tube or anything like that. So for me, 
once I learn how to do it and you learn had the little extra learning curve. Um, so to me, it's, yeah, it's a pro and a con, but now it's, to me, it's, it's just kind of a wash, but it is a little bit more difficult originally to put in. So, uh, the other thing is, um, well, I don't think this is a, is a con, but if you don't, you know, if you don't check your air pressure, which you should check your air pressure every time before you ride, um, it, it could fail. Uh, so, but the same thing could happen with the heavy duty tube. So make sure you always check your air pressure on your inner bladder. I usually fill it up to 110 PSI and I've been riding tubeless for a very long time. So do I think tubeless is better than tubes? The answer is yes. It's more expensive, a little bit more difficult to install, but the fact that you can fix it with just a standard plug kit so you don't have to carry as many tools and it has much, much better traction. So to me, it's worth just that alone, the traction alone, just being able to get more traction. And um, if you get a flat and you don't have a patch kit, you can ride it back to the truck way easier than you would with a standard tube. So I'm a big fan of tubeless. I've been running it for over 10 years. Uh, you know, Jeff at Newatech built his original one and then made a 2.0, which has a, a more rigid and better red carcass, uh, red liner carcass as well. And so have I, have, a, have I had it fail? And that's probably a question that people wonder because I have seen people on the internet saying that I've had it fail or something's issues with it. Well, if you install it correctly, you typically don't have any issues with it. I personally have not had tubeless fail. And I know there are guys out there that have, um, you know, and you can carry like a little teeny the inner bladder tube, which is much lighter than a normal tube. If you feel like you're not, you're worried it's going to fail and you can replace that inner tube. Have I, do I have um, some of my tires lose air? Yes. Over time, the high pressure, uh, inner bladder does lose air, which then in turn releases some of the grip on the red liner, which then can have air seep out of the tire. So on one of my bikes, I had a front tire that about every four or five days, it would, the front tire would go completely flat, but it wouldn't come off the bead. It would stay on the bead and I'd have to repump that, that up. And I couldn't find a hole in the carcass of the tire. So my guess was somewhere on the red liner, I had a nick or something like that. And there are plenty of videos out there showing how well the tubeless can do when it comes up to the abuse. There's a guy that I saw with a Yamaha bike that drills holes in it, cuts it with a chainsaw, and then goes ride 30 miles just to see if it holds onto the rim. It's pretty durable. But will I say it's indestructible? No, there are, it still can have issues. So you need to decide what's best for you. If it was me for the traction, and just the, the peace and comfort of being able to ride back the truck and the ease of use of being able to plug it, I would go the tubeless every day over the week over the heavy duty tubes. Um, but that choice is yours. You know, I'll put the, how much each of these costs in the description below. You can check out how much a heavy duty um, tube costs versus uh, tubeless. All right, guys, as always, don't forget to follow us. If you're not already following us, hit that subscription button like and share our video and if you have any questions about tubeless versus tubes hit me up in the comments below or you can send me an email if you go over to my the contact or the about us or about the channel and go to my email address and send me an email and we can chat through email or anything like that so anyways thanks for watching guys we'll catch you next time <laughs>